have people calling you up on the phone or sending you an email going, hey, I'd like to buy you lunch. Uh, can I buy you lunch? I one time told that if I were to compute the value of my time to go to lunch with them, eat lunch, and come back, it was about $1,700. So I set up a site, consultwithfred.com. All of you should be doing this. The next time someone contacts you by phone or by mail and says, I'd like to kick your brain, remind them that you're in the business of selling your brain power. By the way, here's the Tom McCann shoe story to illustrate that point. Let's say you've been buying your shoes from Tom McCann for the past oh, 10, 15 years. Now, I lived in New York City full time for 20 years. Say I want to go to a shoe store in New York City. I came up with a shoe salesman, uh, Tom McCann. I took two shoes and put them on the cash, you know, on the counter during the cash and said, you know what? I've been a customer here at Tom McCann for a long time. I think today I should get this, this pair of shoes for free. Now, if you're in New York City, the response would be, right out of here. Hang on. So here's, so here's what I would like you to remember and imagine. All of you have knowledge about your topic. That knowledge is valuable. And so what I would like you to imagine is if inside your head there are racks filled with really tiny little pairs of shoes. And Sean, stand up a second. Every time you meet someone, and they're trying to extract information from you. They're trying to extract information from you. Here's what they're doing. Hold on to the mic. They're starting to shake you and hoping that those tiny little shoes will fall out of your ears <laughs> so they can steal your inventory. And thank you for Sean Allen. Thank you. Thank you. Because that's what they're doing. They want to take your knowledge and steal it without paying for it. So what you have to leave here with is the understanding that you need to be selling your tiny little shoes. You shouldn't be giving them away for free and letting people shake you so that they fall out of your ears. You'll never forget that image.